I think one of the hardest parts of my day is honestly just waking up every morning. Um, to be honest, I received a little over 18 lates um, this year for school. Um, probably more because they kind of stopped sending me emails. And then also, um, if it was the toll year, because of corona, you know, it's really only been half a year. But whatever, you know, it's fine. Let's look more into my problem. The thing is, is that I don't like waking up in the morning at all. Um, so I'll get, I'll, I'll wake up and then I'll look at the clock and, oh, it's 7.15. You know what? I got some time for a little more shut eye. So then I'll close my eyes for what feels like 0.5 milliseconds and then boom, suddenly it's 8 o'clock and I'm still in bed and I'm going to be late to school. So it's kind of problematic. Now, of course, how do I solve this? I could solve this many ways, actually. Um, I could man up and just get out of bed. But I've noticed something. Um, so I've tried a lot of alarm clocks, you know, and they all have one key feature that really just brings them right to their knees. And that is their off button. Even in my near comatose state, I am still able to kind of open up my eyes, walk across the room, turn off the alarm clock, and get back in bed. And then I thought to myself, what if I made an alarm clock without an off button. And then I thought, wow, that'd be really dumb because then you couldn't turn it off and it'd just kind of keep going and it'd be bad. But then I thought, what if I made an alarm clock where the bed was the off button? What I mean is, when you get out of bed, the alarm clock turns off. But if you get back in bed, it goes off again. And so it's annoying and it keeps you out of bed. And so then I'm like, cool. So I did that. There's the robot. Um, it's lightweight, it's portable. You know what, no, it isn't portable. It doesn't need to be portable. Um, this stays by your bed. I've used this thing, it works. So this alarm clock is not just unique in its triggering mechanism, but it's actually unique in the way that it wakes you up too. You see, I have this issue where I'm quite the special boy and just a loud noise isn't gonna wake me up. So I solved this problem just like you can solve a failing marriage with a big old bed shaking vibrator. That's right folks, here it is, the big old bed shaking vibrator. You put this under the pillow or under the mattress, and, and it shakes you. Shakes you awake. And it's really violent and really not fun to wake up to. But it is what it is. You got to do what you got to do. All right. So this thing is simple as pie. Look at this easy setup. It's portable. It's fun. It's quirky. Okay? So look. You put this under your pillow. Bam. All right, you put this into your wall. Bazinga, I mean, bazinga, okay? Then you take the patent pending bed mat, sleep mat, bed, bed mat. You take the patent, pa patent, then you take the patent pending sleep mat and you put it under your sheets. Now, I'm lazy, so I'm just gonna put it under my comforter. And then, you gotta plug that bad boy on in. And you, you gotta plug it in. This is kinda difficult, actually. This one's... So then, after you plug it in, all you gotta do is put, apply some pressure to the bed, and... And that's it, you know? You try to you try to sleep and you just can't. You can't. Listen to that. Listen to that rumble. Listen to that buzz. Listen to all of this. This is awful. Why isn't it? Okay, there we go. Um and that's that. Now of course I know you're asking. Uh how does how does the vibrator work? How does the bed pressure plate work? You're probably asking, you know, how does the vibrator work? How does the bed pressure plate work? How does it all function? And I'm getting to that. Hold your horses. This robot is a lot easier for me to describe uh, because I actually built all the components, wrote all the code, did all of that, so I can actually fully explain it to you guys. So this is actually pretty simple. Basically, you have the um, bed pressure sheet, which is made of Velostat, which is basically a conductive material that um, basically is a resistor that gives less resistance the more pressure is applied. So you connect that to an analog port 
or an analog um, pin. And what that does is it basically measures the resistance. And when the resistance is at a certain amount, um, it, it works like a button at that point. We have a clock, like a real-time clock, that is connected to the Arduino, um, a buzzer, and a relay board that is connected to the big bed-shaking vibrator because that requires to be plugged. That needs to be plugged into the wall. Uh, and here's the code. Well, this is actually kind of a, I guess, um, breakdown of the code. So it checks, starts off checking if it's 715. If it isn't, it keeps checking. It does that all night. Um, when the second it turns 715 or whatever time you put in, it checks if the velostat is being pressed down, or in this case, if I'm in bed. If I'm not, then it checks again. Or it actually would check if it's 715 again. Um, so I did that wrong. Um, but it checks if it's 715. Then, if I am in bed, um, it will, you know, take the big 12 volt bed shaking vibrator and the buzzer and it'll wake me up, wait a second, and then check if it's 715 again. It'll go through this over and over. So yeah, it's pretty inefficient, but it works. So now, of course, I can't just say all this and pretend that it works. I have to actually show you guys and test it. And that's probably one of my favorite parts of the video. The thing is, though, is that that's actually why this took so long, because I couldn't figure out how to test it. I mean, this was me waking up. I couldn't just record myself sleep. You know, that's weird. Um, but luckily, I found a way around it. Uh, since Mark Zuckerberg watches us all asleep, all I had to do was actually just hack into the bed cam that he set up a couple years ago, and I'm all set, and I just cut out the parts of me sleeping, and only have the parts of me waking up. Um, so here that is. Hey, uh, Editing Drew here, speaking over this extremely strange clip of me sleeping. Uh, just wanted to let you know that there are not going to be as many videos of me waking up to this as I originally intended. Uh, basically what happened was, every once in a while, a wire would get unplugged in my sleep, or there would be like, um, I would forget to plug it in or something would happen. So there's really only going to be a couple of those, but there were a couple of bloopers that I'll put in here. And of course there is this clip of me just straight up sleeping because every single time it wouldn't work and record me sleeping. So now I have a bunch of just videos of me sleeping on my hard drive. So if you want those, um, maybe I'll start a Patreon or something for you guys to get those are an OnlyFans of me sleeping. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you would like a Drew sleeping OnlyFans. Do this shit. And so uh, that's that. That's the video. Um, you know, 
I think it was cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Dude, shit. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, but most importantly, please leave robot ideas in the comments section below, because I'm running out of them. So if you guys have an idea for a robot, please leave it down in the comments below, or shoot me a text, because you most likely know me if you're seeing this. Um, yeah, but other than that, thanks for watching. Peace.